My name is Christian Martinez. Um, I'm 25 years of age. I've been living in Oakland, California since I was 10. Oakland, California is different. different. I mean, you see um, prostitution, crackheads, as soon as you out of your house. And I mean, is if you live like in the east area of Oakland, or west area of Oakland, this happens. I mean, it, it's just crazy where you live and that you have. But in a weird way, I feel like it makes you a better person. You understand the world differently. You see things differently. And, and I do feel like all the people in, in the hood and the ghetto, we have an advantage somehow. Um, or. I, maybe it's just me, I like to believe that, and that's what keeps me going. I came to this country when I was 10, um, from Mexico City, from Michoacan. Um, my dad passed away when I was 17, um, so I had no guidance from like a male figure in my life. My brother was there, but you know, he had his own family. My sister, um, she had her own family. My mom was struggling with the with the passing away of her husband. So I just had to look for my own mentors, my own sponsors, my own people that can give me some guidance through life and really, really make me who I am now. So it's, it's tough, but um, I mean, once again, the struggle, the struggle makes you who you are and the dream is free, but the struggle is definitely so separately. Back in uh, September 2000, 2000, 2005, I was riding my bike along this street right here. It was like 8.30 at night. I was riding my bike. I was happy going home. When all of a sudden, a car pulls up next to me and tries to push me out of the street. So I get on the sidewalk. Then the car pulls up behind me and pushes the back tire of my bike, and I made it left. Another car pulls up. They pull down the window, pull out a 22 millimeter gun, and shot me on my knee. Um, it was it was intense, but um, crazy stories that I called 911, and they never got there. Uh, so what I did. I went into a, a house through the window. They fired another shot. They hit me. But once I went into the window, the lady that was in there, she started screaming. And she started just yelling and saying, Oh my God, they steal me. You know, me están robando. She was saying Spanish. And I was just trying to come her down when my knee was all swollen and, and I was just bleeding. I was like, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. The lady, she noticed that I was, that I was, um, that I got shot, and she was just like, you know what, let me get you some Tylenol, um, to help you with the pain. She was great. And after that, um, I called this gentleman, um, and he picked me up, and he took me to Kaiser. I mean, I was in Kaiser, and I remind you, undocumented, my parents were in the country, no health insurance, no job, and actually take, he took me to Kaiser. Um, the lady at Kaiser was like, where are your parents at? What's your health insurance like? I just remember just fainting. Cause, I mean, they couldn't done anything. Um, they took me into a, I guess they had to take me into it. They took me into a room, put me some morphine. The doctor said, you know what? The bullet went inside, it shattered inside your bone, um, inside your leg, and we cannot take it out. And he said, you probably won't be able to walk. I was, I was pretty much depressed for maybe two months after I came home. I was in bed, I wasn't able to get up. It, it was it was pretty intense. Um, I felt like my life just had ended. But I was like, you know what? 
whatever. I'm gonna just get up, walk. I used to walk five blocks from my house to to the high school where I was at, which is Fremont High. And I used to just take my crutches. I had blisters on my hands because I used to just walk there with my crutches um, because I wasn't gonna let this bullet stop me from doing this. Um, so once again, that's that's the violence now because that's part of living in Oakland. Um, and I was on this street right here. This is the street where I was at. I was on 48. And then um, 49 is where the car pulled out. Then at the stoplight is where he tried to run me over. And all of a sudden, I just, the street was empty. It was crazy. It was like a movie. I got up the sidewalk and I made a left on this street. And right here on 51st and International, right here on 51st and International, is where I got shot. Um, again, it was like 9, 9 p.m. the latest. Um, it was some people outside. And I don't know, it was just, it was just crazy. Um, I think back and I'm like, whoa, I'm still alive. But this is exactly where I got shot. The the car pulled up in front of that bump, that speed bump. They sh shot me. And I mean, this was it. I went inside this house right here. maybe 19, 18 when I came to see this lake. So I came to this country, I came to Oakland when I was 10 and I didn't get to experience the beauty of the lake till I was 19. I was so, I was so, I was so locked up in my own community, in my own area that I didn't get to explore outside. I didn't get to go and really, you know, explore more than my comfort zone. I came to see the lake and I was like, man, this is the beauty. I want, I want to know more about it and I want to know where I'm living. Although this is kind of like a nice part, a nice area. Um, where I live is a different situation. You know, we live in the hood, we live in the ghetto. We see the we hear gunshots. We hear all these things happening. And this is part of Oakland. Um, I can say once you pass this area, it's like the switch just came off. It's, it's something different. District 5, District 7, District 6. It's like... Man, what they have happened to the beauty that's right behind me? Um, and that's